In this video, we are going to walk through a coding solution to the Fetch All User Ages REST API technical interview question. So let's jump in. On this question, we are given access to a fake REST API endpoint, which is API users, that returns a list of users in JSON format. Each user object contains a name, age, and email, and our task is to fetch the data from that endpoint and return a list of users' ages sorted in increasing order. If the API responds with a non-200 status code, we simply return an empty array. So let's look at the first example here. So we've got some mock data, which is again an array of objects that have a name, age, and email. And you can see here for the ages, we have 32, 25, and 29. And so very simply, we have to get that data and then simply return the ages in increasing order. So it'll be 25, 29, and 32. And the exact same for the second example, we have our mock data, we have our two users and that have ages of 35 and 40, and we simply need to return it in that increasing order. So let's jump into the solution now. As we're making a request, it's always good practice to implement some error handling, and we can do that with the try catch block. So I can say try and then catch, we can catch that error. And then remember in this case, Typically in a production environment, you will do something with these errors. However, in this case, all we need to do is return an array as the question asked. So then within the try block, I can then make the request. So I can say const response equals, and then we can use a wait here. And so we're using a wait to pause execution until this network promise settles. Um, and this will also not block the event loop. And we can do this because we're inside an asynchronous function. So then I can use fetch, and then I can pass in the URL. In this case, it's this example.com and then the API users endpoint. Then what I wanna do is I wanna check the response status on that response object. And I can check firstly, if it's not 200, well, as the description said, we can simply return an empty array, but obviously in production environments, you'd want to handle that case better. Then we wanna get access to the data. So then we can say const data equals await response.json like so. This parses the JSON response body into a JavaScript object. And again, we're using a wait to keep the syntax synchronous looking while remaining non-blocking. And finally, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say return data.map. So again, we're mapping over our array. And what is our array of? It is an array of users that has the name and age properties. So I can then say user.age. So again, what I'm doing here is I'm getting all of the users' ages, but again, we have to sort them. So I can say dot sort and I can get access to them. And then for the comparison, I can say A minus B like so. And so what this is going to do is it'll order the ages numerically in ascending order. It will simply return that array from the function. So let's run the tests and see if they pass. Perfect, the test case passed. Let's run the test suite and make sure all the tests pass. Perfect, all the tests pass. So if you want to try it out for yourself, the link to the question is in the description and hopefully you got some value out of it. If you did, please like and subscribe and share with a friend. It helps the channel out a lot and I will see you in the next one.